eshe o baba egberu a o koto fun ire baba eshe o baba ten thousand ton koto fun ire oluwa eshe o baba eshe o eshe Baba, Esheo, Jesu, Adupeo, Baba, Esheo, Jesu, Kila Bafisan, Ore, Re, Bioti Poto, Lori Hayewa Egg Berua Egg Berua Koto Fuire Sheo Sheo Baba Father, we just bless your name. In our own way, let's just bless the name of the Lord. Let's appreciate this gracious God who has been with us since the beginning of this great program, who has poured out his grace upon our lives in abundance, his enabling grace, empowering grace upon us. Father, if we have 10,000 tongues, these are blessings that money cannot buy. If we have 1 million tongues, each and every one of us, Father, Father, it is not enough to praise you over three PG, over every family, over all our children, our husbands, our wives, our families, over the leadership of this ministry, over his family. We just want to say thank you. Father, please receive our thanksgiving tonight. Father, take all the glory. God of grace, we give you all the glory. Without your grace, where will we be? Without your mercy, where will we be? Father, we just worship you. Please accept us tonight. Accept our worship. Accept our thanksgiving. Accept our sacrifices of praise. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to take our hymn, Grace for Grace. It's on the um on 3PG page. So if you can go to it, praise the Lord. One, two, three, go. Marvelous grace of a loving Lord, grace that exceeds a sin and a guilt. Yonder on Calvary's path, our poor, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that we pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sins. Sin and despair like the sea, waves cold, threaten the soul with infinite loss. Grace, is grace, yes, grace untold, points to the refuge the mind, take cross, grace, 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 God's grace, grace that will pardon our cleanse within, grace, grace. God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. 
and dark is the state that we cannot hide. What can we do to wash it away? Love there is flowing a crimson tide, brighter than snow you may be. Today, grace, 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 praise, God's praise, grace that we pardon and cleanse within, grace, grace, God's grace, grace that we squeeze than all our sins. Mother lost infinite much less grace freely bestowed on all who believe you that are longing to see his face we you this moment is great receive great great grace grace God's grace, grace that we pardon and cleanse within grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sins, grace, grace. God's grace, grace that we pardon and cleanse within grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sins. Amen. Amen. Can you just go ahead and ask for grace, please? Uh, just ask for grace, please. The journey is far. The journey is still far ahead. Just ask for grace. In any way you know you need it, just ask for grace. Lord, I need grace. I need grace to lead the Christian life. I need grace for my very life. I need grace in the marriage. I need grace in my head. I just need your grace. Lord, there's too much of it upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let me enjoy your grace. Lord, let me enjoy I ask for grace. I ask for grace. Lord, let me enjoy grace. I ask for grace. Please bless me with grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless me with grace. Much less infinite, much less grace. Marvelous grace, much less grace, infinite, unending grace. Infinite simply means a grace that never ends. Lord, I ask for grace that never ends. The journey is just too difficult. Every day there is just this news that I want to make me sad. Every day there is hardly any day that something just happened that I want to just want to laugh. There is more challenge than joy. Lord, I need grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace make it easy. Grace make the journey easy. Despite the difficulty, grace make it easy. It 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 make it just easy for one. Lord, I need grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace that is freely bestowed on all who believe. Tonight, I believe and I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is freely bestowed on us, men that believe. I believe, Lord, that this are and I receive in Jesus' mighty name. I believe grace. I believe in your ability. I believe in the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. I believe his death procure for me all liberty, all salvation. It's death procure for me everything I ever needed in life. It's death procure for me a freedom, a place in your presence. It's death procure for me a place in the covenant of grace. Lord, tonight I ask for grace at this, by the blood of Jesus Christ, his name, and it's death in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, just give me grace tonight at his freely bestow on how we believe in the mighty name of Jesus. The song say we you this moment is grace received. Lord, this moment I ask for grace in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a grace flowing now at this moment. There's a great grace flowing now at this moment. There's a grace going between us from head to head, from place to place. The Bible said like a clothy tongue, the spirit moved from head to head until all was baptized in the spirit of grace. Lord, tonight I ask as the spirit moved from head to head, 
from place to place, from home to home, from one place to another now in our midst as it flows through us tonight. May I not be left behind in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, this moment I receive grace. There is a grace that is available now at this moment. May you this moment is grace received. Lord, this moment I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Bestow upon me grace, abundance, grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace greater than all my sin. Grace greater than all my past. Grace greater than all my errors. Grace greater than all my bad choices. Grace greater than all my iniquity. Grace far bigger and greater than where my strength is small. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are things I can't, I can't do for myself that only you can do for me. And that's why I ask for grace. And there are things I need to do, but my strength may be small. I ask for grace. Jesus, we you this moment, we you this moment, my very grace receive at this moment, at this time, I ask for grace, and I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Daily grace, weekly grace, monthly grace, grace for the rest of the year, for every second, for every minute, for every hour, I need grace. For every hour of the day, I need grace. For every second, I need grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me experience your grace, Lord. Let me experience your grace in any way you can, and I can experience. Let me experience it in the mighty name of Jesus. May you this moment is a grace receive. Just ask us yourself, where do I need that grace? I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it in parenting? I receive it. There's a second chance tonight. Is it in parenting? I receive it in Jesus' name. Is it to be a good wife? The tie that your husband will see, and be a happy man. I receive it. This will be a good husband. The tie your wife will see, and that woman will be a fortunate to man all her life, simply because she's married to you. What a fortunate woman that to be. That grace will be that husband I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, is it to be a father? The father, the children will remember. They will anytime they cross their mind that this is my daddy. They are just happy because they are so fortunate to have this man as their father. That's the grace I receive tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Will you this moment receive grace as a mother? Can you just ask, Lord, I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace as a good neighbor. I receive grace as a good co-worker. I receive grace as a Christian, as a child of God. The type that others will see, and they will proclaim the name of the Lord as being blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace of being a believer. The type of others will see, and they will glorify God in the heavens. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. On behalf of my children, I receive grace. They tell that they will see my children outside and they will bless them. I receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, a woman saw Jesus Christ, he said, Blessed are the breasts that fed you. Oh, Lord, I receive grace like that in Jesus' name. That one day somebody will see my daughter, one day somebody will see my boy, and they will say, Blessed is the breast that fed you. Or they will say, Blessed is the mother, the father that gave back to you. I receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace, Lord, untold. Grace bigger, grace untold in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace. With you, this moment is grace received. I receive a grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace never received before in my entire household. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace never received before, never received before in my entire life, in my entire household, in my entire life. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Only those with grace can survive this moment. Only those with grace can survive the journey ahead. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The challenges are much. The troubles are much. The noise be much. The pestilence are still there. Only those with sufficient grace will survive. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The storm may still be there, but Lord, your grace can all be sufficient. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. In every aspect of my life, in every area of my life, even to maintain a consistent covenant hour, I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell me who can maintain a consistent covenant hour without grace. Lord, I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Will you this moment is a grace receive, brethren? I receive grace in the mighty name of Grace in abundance. Grace in abundance. Grace in abundance. Grace in abundance. Grace rich in abundance and abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive rich grace in Jesus' mighty name, uncommon grace in the mighty name of Jesus, uncommon grace, rich grace in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, 
we have prayed. Say, Father, make me an example of grace. Oh, make me an example of a mother or a father, a brother or a sister, a man or a woman that have received grace. Make me an exemplar, exemplar example of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. When the word is spoken, for example, in grace, my name will be mentioned in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace in Jesus' name. I receive grace, abundant grace. Abundant grace in Jesus' mighty name. I receive grace, grace in abundance, grace untold in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace, I receive grace, I receive grace in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we go to today's end prayer, let me just show you something the scriptures which I want us to pray quickly about, even for a few minutes before we go to whatever the Lord we have in store for us. But this too is a perfect thing that the Lord has in store for us. Evening, and I can't but share with you. Elisha, let's see first King chapter 19. Just don't the, the read scripture for today. But we need to read this to pray some prayers before the going to the main thing. First King chapter 19. And this may even be the main thing Lord has to stop for us today. If we are not if we are, if if we get it right. So please get it right in Jesus' name. First King 19. Let me read from uh, verse 3. It was about Elisha. After the, the battle at the uh, at the the battle where the fire came down and he won he won and he defeated the prince of darkness and Jezebel now say oh you did this don't worry I will cut your head off and in verse uh, three let me just start from verse three of first first king chapter nineteen verse three he say and when he saw that that is the man of God Elisha saw what this man I mean uh, Elijah and saw what this 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 woman had in store for, for him. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life. And that was he ran for his life. There's a time to run and there's a time to stay. Just before this meeting began, I had a revelation. And that revelation, something happened, which I had to run. As I as I was a matter of fact, I was a minister in that place. And while I was with the mic and I was about ministry, something happened, and I dropped the mic and I ran. And later I came back because since we are settled and the preaching or the topic we had in that meeting in the revelation began again. And I was feeling bad that I was to minister the gospel. I was to preach at this hour and I was already holding the mic. I saw the sometimes something, something happened and I ran. Why should I run? Why should I drop the man? If we mean dying at that point, I should have stayed because I was to preach and I felt somehow bad in that dream. And the elders are also looking at me. We are feeling some. What kind of pastor is this? Just like you are in a church and a man carry gun, enter and you run as a pastor, leaving your leaving another person you're running you to you run. You know it's somehow it looks somehow. And I was asking in that dream, I felt in that I felt very bad, very very bad. And that's why you are looking at me somehow. And uh, but the nutrition and the nutrition continue and it ended. And why it ends? Somebody now came to me and asked. Why do you run when that event was to happen at that beginning? Why would you run? Because it was later arrested and things got normal. And it was arrested by somebody you don't even know, somebody that came just in the, that was also part of the meeting, but was not in the leadership. And somebody was like, why do you run? And why don't you stay? And I just answered in that revelation. Something just, just, just was, well, I see somebody was telling me the answer, and I just answered. And I said, there is a time to run and there's a time to stay that the beauty the the ability the grace to know the difference between the two make you a mature believer and i woke up and since that time that revelations and that answer that came to my mind has never left me it's a time to run it's a time to stay and the ability the grace to know the difference make you a believer. I didn't remember this story again. I didn't remember this dream because I, I just prayed when I woke up and I didn't remember it again until I, read, I just did the particular test. And I want you to pray for yourself. There's ability that only the Spirit of God can give you. The time for you to say no and the time for you to say yes. The time for you to run. The time for you to stay. The time for you to stay your ground. Say no, I'm not shifting. And the time for you to shift one side and allow God to have his way. The time for you to know where your strength begins and it ends. 
and that way to know where God will help you. The Bible said that the Lord once told me and said that uh, God will not do for man what man ought to do for himself. But the ability for to know where your strength ends and what you should do for yourself and what cannot do, what, what God will do for you, that ability requires a lot of maturity and revelation and wisdom. You have said this man here ran for his life because he knew there was a time to run. And there's a time in one state and in one battle. Now another battle stay from the same place. He said, I have to run. And to pray yourself, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me know where my strength ends. The grace to know where my strength ends. And to know where I need to fall back on you. Let me I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know where my strength ends. And to know where yours begin in my life. I need to know in the mighty name. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know what I need to do for myself. And to know what you only can do for me. Lord, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know where I need to start. And where you need to stand in my life. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know where I need to think and find a way out. And to know where I need to pray and ask for a way out. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know the difference where I need to be the father in my house and stay my ground, and the time where I need to sit aside and say, God, be the father now and take charge. I receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to be a woman and say, I am the wife of this house, I demand my right. And the grace to know when not to demand the right and love God to have his way, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to be obedient at the right time to do your will and to submit at your feet. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to know when to run and when to stay. The Bible said there is a time for everything. The grace to know the time, my timing, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace for timing, grace for timing, spirituality. Grace for timing in life and destiny, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace for timing in life and destiny, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to take the path to the, to the, the, path to, the, to, the to the enemy. And when to withdraw, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I believe you heard what I just said just now. There's a time you take the path to the gate of the enemy. Otherwise, you sit down, they come to meet you, you commit a big error. And at the time, you must stay back at your own gate and watch the enemy from afar. The ability to know the difference makes a lot in survival in lives. It's a time to go to the gate of the enemy and possess him. Say, the, he was telling Rebecca, he said, you will possess the gate of your enemy. But Rebecca must know the timing when to pursue and when to withdraw from pursuing. If you don't know the difference, it may be a big mistake. And it's quite a grace to know that. It's called timing in life. There's timing for everything. The Bible said that answer not a man, a fool, according to his wisdom, according to his foolishness, lest you become a fool like him. Answer not a fool, according to his foolishness, lest you become a fool like him. And the very next verse, it says, But answer a fool according to his foolishness, lest the fool knows, lest the fool think is wise. In the first verse, I think verse 4, it says, Do not answer a fool, because if you answer a fool, you are becoming a fool like yourself too. In other words, when this man begins to behave, he's ready to behave. Or this woman begins to say the thing the way you to say it. I remain my cool. I didn't answer her. I didn't answer him. Answer not a fool. According to his foolish name, let you become a fool like, your, like yourself too. But the next very verse says, Please answer a fool according to his foolishness. Let the fool think is wise in his own eyes. The difference between verse 4 and verse 5, if, I, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, chapter of Proverbs, the difference between those two verses is wisdom, is grace. Because grace itself is wisdom. If you don't have that grace, you will muddle the two up. And no wonder many women cannot keep a home. No wonder many men cannot keep a family because they don't know the difference between when to keep short and when to talk. And any one of us can be a victim unless grace is involved. Say, Father, I receive grace in the mighty name of Jesus to know when to open my mouth and ask for strength and when to keep short and just be looking in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace all for timing in my life. I receive grace for timing in the mighty name of Jesus. The difference is just timing. I receive grace for timing in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace for timing in the mighty name of Jesus. Wisdom for timing. Understanding for timing in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The man ran for his life, verse 3, and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. He was going with servants, he knew at the point, now I'm servant, have to stay, I have to go alone. That's the time you are the point you get to, you call the prayer team, please pray with me. By the time you go to the prayer team, you have done your part, now it's me alone, I must settle this matter with God. And it's a point you get to say, this matter between me and God, I must settle it. You get to a point say, I succeed, my strength is not enough. Prayer team, please join me. You must know the difference. And that is maturity, spiritual thing. But he himself went a day journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a journey path tree. Please follow me carefully. And requested for himself that he might die. He was tired, he was discouraged. May we not be discouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. Say to yourself, may I not be discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No news will get me discouraged. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting in the mighty name of Jesus. No news will get me discouraged as long as my breath is in me. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will keep confessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will make me discouraged and desire death in the mighty name of Jesus. This man say, enough is enough. I'm ready to die. But as for me, I make up my mind, I will never get discouraged. No news will get me discouraged. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will keep confessing, even to the point of death, in the mighty name of Jesus. I will never let go of my faith. I will keep believing. I believe you are saying to yourself as well. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will not let go in the mighty name of Jesus. I ought to have married and I'm being delayed. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will not let go in the mighty name of Jesus. I ought to be having my own children by now, but they are not coming. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will not let go in the mighty name of Jesus. After long more, after so much prayer, I ought to be having a good and settled marriage now. But yet the family is not settled. Yes, I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will not let go. I keep confessing faith in the mighty name of Jesus. By now, I should be healed and my head should be proper. But instead of that, it's getting worse and worse. I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will keep confessing. I will not let go in the mighty name of Jesus. But now, my spouse will be normal because I'll be praying and be trusting God for her life or for his life. For as I see, the more I pray, the more difficult it is. But now, the children should be normal. But the more I try my best, the worse they become. But I will keep believing. I will keep trusting. I will keep confessing. I will not let go in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said, enough, it's enough. And in verse 5, and he lay and slept under a juniper tree. And behold, then an angel touched him. And he said unto him, arise and eat. An angel touched him. At the point when he was given up and was sleeping, an angel touched him. And he said, arise and eat. At the point where you need it most. May your angel be active in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says every child of God, every children have their own angel. And that you are old now, you are mature, you are married, or something, the angel is asleep. I mean, the angel has gone on holiday, the others there. But maybe on holiday, though they might not be working. But at the point where you need it most, where you need it most, may your angel not be asleep in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The man was sleeping, but his angel was not sleeping. The angel touched his eyes and ate. And we are, going, so we, are going, we are going there and we are almost there. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baking on the coast. Hot fire cook, the cake was already on it. And a coat of water at his head. And he did eat and drink. And lay his da- him down again. And he was sleeping again. Without drinking from that thing. All this was, was happening physically. But man be thinking he's dream, dreaming. But literally was happening. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time. And that's where we are this night, the second time. The angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for you. The challenge ahead is too much for you. I was wondering the greatest journey in life. Elijah has already overcome it. How can a man on Mount Carmel call fire from heaven? And the fire came down and consumed all the sacrifices. All the water, they even make it difficult more for God. All the water, all the sacrifices was consumed. And the prophet of Baba, 250 of them, was slaughtered and killed. And the man had victory for God. What kind of a journey in life can be greater than that on, for a man? But the man, at the point, 
went in a personal journey now. That was a general journey for all. But in a personal journey now, he was tired and he was down. And he just said, please arise. Eat again. If you think you have faced it all, you are not faced anything. The journey ahead is too much. He said, arise and eat. And he arose and did eat and drank and went in the strength of that food. 40 days and 40 nights unto Herod, the mount of God. He ate and he went in the strength of that food for 40 days, for 40 nights. There was no food again. There was no opportunity for to hear food to, to be fed again. But he went in the journey of that food that he ate for the rest of that journey. 40 days, 40 nights. The food we are going to eat tonight will be sufficient, will be enough, will be more powerful to take us for the rest of this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible said that he went in the strength of that journey. Okay, so for that, I ask for grace, I ask for grace for strength. I ask for grace in strength. The strength for the journey ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. The journey ahead is too great for me. I ask for strength in the mighty name of Jesus. How we are coordinate this family for the rest of my life. How we are coordinate this man, this woman for the rest of my life. How we are be the mother, the father, my children need as long as I'm alive. The strength for this journey I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. How do I make sure my head is normalized and is good for the rest of this year and the rest of my life? The strength for this journey I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Arise and eat. Lord, tonight I arise and I eat at your feet tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will go in the strength of this food for the rest of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep believing, facing, and I will keep going in the strength of this night for the rest of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask for this grace. Lord, and baptize, and, and baptize me with strength in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says they ask strength to strength as men that are praying in Zion. Lord, ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know areas where I am weak. You know areas where I am not able to hold myself. Ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know areas where I am weak and tired. Lord, ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know areas where my strength is small. Lord, ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know areas where I am vulnerable, Daddy. Ask strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength abundant. I receive strength anew in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive strength for the journey in the mighty name of Jesus. The journey ahead of parenting, I receive strength in Jesus' name. The journey ahead to be the father, the husband, the man you have come to be. I receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive, I receive strength in Jesus' name. But that's me strength, strength in above. In Jesus' name. They appear in Zion and they went with more strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When I say strength, God sometimes I don't understand what strength means, but I quite understand it. For Elijah, he needs physical strength to be able to walk. He has a 40-day journey ahead of him and he must do it on his leg. He got to a point when God knew he can no longer do it by himself. He carried him on, on the on the chariot. Before then, he can appear and reappear at will. So it was that powerful. He can just go to a place, he's tired, God will begin to appear and go to another place without even making a journey on leg. Philip was walking, he was trekking, he got to a particular point. After baptizing the man of from the end of from Ethiopia, and he was to go to another village. The Bible says he disappeared and appeared in that village. God can do that. But at times, God will allow you to walk on your leg to use the strength of man, the strength of your physical strength on a journey. He can do it if you will. You can make, you can make it. You can translate it. Within a day or two, everything is normal life. But at times, you want to use your physical strength. And that time, you need strength. And the difference, only God knows areas where you need your strength. God knows areas where I need my strength. More than you ever need it. He created Adam. He said, it's not good for a man to be alone. He knew he needed a strength that only a woman can provide. Even Adam himself at that time doesn't even know he needed it. But I'm going to pray for that. You know area where I need strength. 
Please add strength to my strength in Jesus' name. You know area of my life where I need strength. Lord, add strength to my strength in Jesus' name. Father, you know more than I do. You understand more than I do. No man can understand me more than you do. Lord, I can't tell my spouse and get it the way you will get it. I can't even understand it myself the way you understand it. Lord, you know area of my life where I need strength at this moment. You know area of my life where I need strength in the journey ahead. Lord, add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, do good to me. I must not be this. I must not be put to shame. Add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, do good to me. I must not be put to shame. Add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know area where I'm getting discouraged. You know area where I'm getting tired. You know area where if you leave me alone, I will fall flat on the ground. I may even deny you. You know area where I can easily fail. Lord, add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You know area where I can easily fail, Daddy. Add strength to my strength. You know if I should go in my own strength in this journey, in this particular area, I will fall at the, at the end of the day. But Lord, in that area where you know I need strength, add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. A man can do it for himself, but it's wisdom to know where God can help you. Lord, I pray of you. I cannot, I, I cannot do myself unless you help me. In areas where I need your strength, and you know those areas more than I do, even when I don't know them. Lord, add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Add strength to my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. May I enjoy strength in abundance. May I enjoy strength in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. May I enjoy strength in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. There's a point you get to in life. We are God, ask strength your strength, and it's enough for the journey. Jesus was the God of God's grace, amen. The strength of that night was what carried him through the cross. And the strength of this night will carry you for the rest of this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anywhere you get to again, and it seems it's diminishing, and you need to be, re- to be recuperated, to be strengthened again, God will stand by your side at the right time. And his angel will strengthen you again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May you never be left alone Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said, may you never be left alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, God will not do for man what man should do for himself. But we are the strength of man end, and the strength of God should continue. May God, by his angel at your side, be there at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God add strength to your strength Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The journey ahead, may God add strength to your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Quickly, 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 before we go, peace within and peace without. Peace within and peace without. You need strength. And strength comes by peace within and peace without. A heart without peace will surely lack strength. But when there is peace in your heart, you have strength to move ahead. When there is peace around you, peace in your family, there are many things you will do. Even your brain will work well. Everything about you is at peace. Your family is at peace. Your children are at peace. Your business is at peace. Your very life is at peace. Everything around you is at peace. Even when there are difficulty, difficulty are not so much that they take away your strength from you. You will be at you, the peace. We, we, we surely make life much more easier that way. In First Timothy, First Peter, that's our our read text for tonight. First Peter one verse two, and I also read Second Peter one verse two. Quickly, first Peter 1, verse 2 say, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, through separation of the Spirit that dedicates you to the Lord, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's why tonight, I, that blood of Jesus Christ, we, we sprinkle over all of us in this meeting now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say grace unto you. And peace be multiplied. Grace unto you. And the grace such that I bring peace. And may it be multiplied. And I said the same to you. I said grace of God. That bring peace within. The grace of God. That bring peace on the outside as well. May that grace be multiplied unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to your own mouth, I receive, I receive grace. In abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. That will bring forth peace to my heart, peace to my marriage, peace to my head, peace to my entire life in the mighty name of Jesus. And may that grace be multiplied in Jesus' name. 
I receive grace for grace in peace for peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace upon grace for peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace be multiplied unto me that it bring about peace in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Second Peter 1, verse 2. So please, Second Peter 1, verse 2. If the Bible please read with me, make it beautiful if you read your own too. Second Peter 1, verse 2. It says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. you so you say amen. I say amen to in Jesus' name. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of His Son Jesus Christ. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. It simply means the more you are conversant with Him, the more you know Him, the more the peace, the more the grace of God is multiplied unto you. We are grace and peace abound. There is no way the strength and the joy of God will not abound. And he said, This kind of grace cannot be possible without the knowledge of God and of His Son Jesus Christ. That is why covenant hour is very important. The more of Him you know, the more of Him that is inside of you, the greater and the better the grace and the peace that is multiplied to you. It simply means your life is no longer being run by circumstance around you, by the news you heard, by what you see. Your life is now being run by His grace. And the peace within it is a point we ask you pray and despite the news here why are you so much at peace why is your life so at peace it's just because you have received grace and peace has been multiplied unto you even you say cannot explain it we ask yourself why am I, why am i behaving like this why am i not reacting why am i not crying or why am i not being be, be reacting when this man or this man behave like this why am i so quiet why am i so so at peace the answer is simply because you have received grace and peace has been multiplied unto you in abundance. And in verse 2 of Jude, Jude verse 2, Jude is only one chapter, verse 2, it says, Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. It also just like saying, Grace unto you and peace and love be multiplied. We are graces, mercy is, there is peace and love be, be multiplied. Say to yourself in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive abundance of grace and peace is multiplied towards me and love as well in the mighty name of Jesus. In my family, in all I do, peace and love is multiplied in the mighty name of Jesus through the knowledge of God and of the Son Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Where there is grace and peace, then it comes by the knowledge of God through Jesus Christ, then love will surely be there and love solve many problems. The Bible says love cover multitude of sins. Oh, I can't forgive him. I can't forgive her. It's because I don't receive grace, you don't receive peace. If you have grace and peace is multiplied to your zeal, love will be natural with you. Forgiving will be natural with you. Letting go will be natural with you. Being at peace, be natural with you. You won't be struggling with anything. No matter what you see, what you hear, what you feel, it will be at you'll be at peace. Everybody will say, This man, this woman, forget about him, is always at peace. And when you are at peace, because love is multiplied in your heart, problems are natural resolved, are naturally resolved. Situation challenges are self-resolved, and sicknesses are self-healed. When and where love, peace, and grace reign and is multiplied, even the prayer life becomes sweeter and less burdensome. Where love and peace is, and where grace is multiplied, you see that you struggle less in your prayer life. You struggle less in many things because even your prayer points begin to be reducing by themselves naturally because grace and peace is multiplied. And love is in abundance in your life. Can you say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive peace, grace, and peace in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace and peace in abundance through the knowledge of God and of the Son Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace and peace in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. I may translate to love for me both at home and abroad in the mighty name of Jesus. May that peace translate to love for me between me and my husband or my wife or between me and the children 
May the peace of God, the grace of God, translate to love for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, may the love for us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are Paul was talking in Ephesians 1 verse 17. Ephesians 1 17 says that the God of that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. If God gives you the spirit of wisdom, and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, you are be you are at peace. Just to of, of, of a revelation I had in that revelation, I saw myself running. We are out to our state, and I was battled. I was disturbed, but peace came when the Lord revealed to me that it's a time to run, and it's a time to stay. That's what revelation does for you. It makes you to be at peace, and when you have revelation from God, you are at peace. And your, your eyes are open. And verse 18 says, The eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And the more you know him, the more you know the understanding of this. He says, But grow in grace and knowledge of God. And as said, Jesus Christ, to him be glory, those now and forever. Divine grace and mercy and peace and love come. By the knowledge of Jesus Christ, the more you know Him, familiar with His promises, with His love, with His truth, with His words, with the covenant, the better you understand Him. I want to pray for yourself, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take me deeper and higher in your in in, 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 in knowing You in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother Paul said that I might know Him. Lord, let me know You in the mighty name of Jesus. Each time I study the Word of God, let me know You. Each time I come to a fellowship like this, let me know You. Let me know you more each time I come and appear in Zion before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Either, my, either in Zion privately or in Zion as a fellowship like this, let me have more of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me know you deeper. Let me know you higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your knowledge in me be broader, be, be lengthy each day, each time I appear before you in the mighty name of Jesus so that my grace, the grace of God and peace in me can multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. So that love and unity can multiply in me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know why this is important? Because a heart that has no love cannot give love. It can't give love. A heart that has no peace cannot give peace. If you yourself you have not enjoyed peace, how will you give peace to your wife? If you yourself you have not enjoyed peace, how will you give peace to your husband? If your Joseph cannot enjoy, I not know peace, how will you give peace to your children? There are husbands that will see their wife, they will see the woman that their heart break because trouble has come again. There are some wives that will see their husband, they see this man again, they are disturbed. They are happier when the woman travel than when they are, are at home. And there are women, they cannot stay unless they see their husband because the man is their peace. And there are men like that, they can't stay unless they see their wife because the woman is their peace. But take this man away, the man is at peace. He shows something is wrong somewhere. The woman has not enjoyed peace. How will she give peace to the husband? The man whose, whose wife heart break when he sees him. How will the man enjoy peace? When, when the, the woman, woman enjoy peace? When the man himself have not have peace in his mind. You can't give what you don't have. If you have not received peace because grace is lacking, how will you give peace? If you have not received grace, how will you give grace? You can only give what you have. A graceless man, how will the children enjoy grace from him? A graceless mother, how will the children enjoy grace from her, my brethren? That's why I say, the more you know these things, the better grace multiplies to you. The more you know this knowledge of God, the better peace is multiplied to you. And the more grace and peace multiply to you, and you receive mercy of God, the more you are able to love. How can you love? When you how can you love when you say I have not even received love? You can't give what you don't have. How can you give unity? You are united with your spouse, with your family. When even within yourself, you are divided. <laughs> Do you hear that? Your spirit, your soul, your body is even divided. You are never at peace. How can you now enjoy unity, your purpose, or mind with your spouse and with your children, with your family? It start with you. It start with me. If I have peace, then I can give my wife peace. If I love God and love God by the knowledge of God in Jesus Christ, expand my heart 
then I can give my wife love. If I've never enjoyed love with God, I can't give her love. It is not possible. You can only give what you have. I can only be romantic. And be romantic is not the same thing as being loving. Romantic when I need that to satisfy my flesh. But when that one is gone, then everything goes back to zero. I don't say, what kind of a man is this? I only enjoy him only when he wants to use me. After using him, using me, he disappear again. I don't see him again. It's because I have not really enjoyed love myself. How do I give love to a woman that I've not, when I've not received love? That's when you pray, say, I receive grace, I receive peace, I receive love. You are helping yourself and helping your family. Can you just say it again, this understanding? That love multiply grace towards me. Begin with me first. Multiply peace towards me. Begin with me first and multiply love towards me. Begin with me first in the mighty name of Jesus. Then my children can enjoy the same. Then my wife can enjoy the same. The more our wedding anniversary grows, the more we love ourselves. The more my children grows, the more united we are, we united we are as with, with them as a family. In the mighty name of Jesus, the more we mark with the anniversary, the lovelier we become. Because grace and peace is being multiplied to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, multiply grace to me, Father. Multiply peace towards me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me enjoy peace and grace in you. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Amen. When you have peace, you can give peace. When you have love, you can give love. What you don't have, you cannot give. And tonight, in the mighty name as we have prayed, you receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say as we have prayed, you receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's where strength or the spirit come from. You draw strength from grace. You draw strength from peace within. You draw strength from the love within. Say it again, the mighty name of Jesus. I draw strength for the journey ahead, from the peace within the mighty name of Jesus. I draw strength for the journey ahead. For the grace of God be multiplied to me now in the mighty name of Jesus. I draw strength for the journey ahead. For the love of God I'm enjoying now in the mighty name of Jesus. I draw strength for the journey ahead. For love, for grace, for peace has been multiplied to me now in the mighty name of Jesus. I can only give what I have. Therefore, I receive grace in multiplication, in double, in multiplication in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only double, in many fold. I receive peace in many fold multiplies to me in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty mighty name we pray the bible says we give us a kind of peace that passes human understanding that cannot be described that even yourself anytime you sit down you look at it you'll be surprised that is it the same me or another person the peace that passes human understanding the grace that pass- grace is still there brethren but only few are enjoying it. That's what God says you should pray. Grace for grace. Grace for grace. Grace is available. There's grace to run a home. There's a grace to run a marriage. There's a grace to run parenting. There's a grace to work in that office. If you don't have that grace, you have many enemies in that office. There's a grace to run a business. If you don't have that grace, it's like you have enemy in that business or you're not making progress in that business. There's grace for every journey. If that grace not may multiply, you may not enjoy it. But I trust love by reason tonight. God will multiply grace towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God will multiply his peace in you and within you. So much that inside of you can affect outside of you too in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God will multiply love towards you. According to the scripture, through the knowledge of his son, the more you know him, the more you will are able to love. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I may mean, know him and the power of his resurrection. And this come by revelation. And he said that the eyes of your understanding may be open. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, open the eyes of my understanding. A matter of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes of my understanding. A matter of peace, that a matter that, I, that will bring peace to my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes of my understanding. A matter that make love and unity to abound in my life and my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes of understanding. He said that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, be open. Lord, open the eyes of understanding that I may enjoy grace in Jesus' name. In matter of grace, 
a matter of peace. Open my eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please, I beg, I, Father, I beg of you, please open our eyes to understand this prayer. Father, I beg of you, open the eyes of my brethren to understand this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus got to Jerusalem and was weeping over Jerusalem. And he wept so much. And people were wondering, what kind of a man is this? Why are we weeping over the city? And Jesus said to Jesus, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I wish you know those things that are for your peace. A whole city, a whole kingdom, they don't even know things that are for their peace. And even today, Jerusalem is practically struggling. Today, war, today, bomb, because Jerusalem refused to know the thing for her peace at the time she ought to know it. And today, she's suffering for it. When we refuse to understand the thing for her peace, when we ought to know it, we might go a long journey and be suffering for it. Until God needs mercy, have mercy upon Jerusalem. And that message will not come until Jesus Christ will come. Jerusalem will be praying for his peace. You say, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And my prophet, I love it. We keep, we keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem because we never really enjoy any peace until Jesus comes. That's why like we keep praying that God, please give peace, give peace until Jesus come. And that's how many families are. God can change the story tonight if only God open our eyes to see this truth. That God will say, Oh, I wish you understand things that for your peace, madam. Ah, oh, we understand that for your peace, daddy. That my family, your parenting, your family can be better for it. Even your very life can be better for it. And you pray this last prayer again and say, Father, I'm my Jesus. Please open my eyes to the things that are for my peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. I must not miss opportunity to enjoy peace in my life. Enjoy peace in my home. Enjoy peace in my head. Enjoy peace in my family. Enjoy peace in my spouse. I must not miss the opportunity that I'm Jesus. If I miss it in the past, Lord, let it be repeated for me again the mighty name of Jesus. Open my eyes to enjoy grace, multiple grace. Open my eyes to enjoy peace, multiple peace. That I might know things that are meant for my peace. And I may know that I might need to love and enrich my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me by your Holy Spirit. I receive this strength, this grace, and this peace within. In the mighty name of Jesus, so much so abundant that even outside of me, without outside of me, it will be obvious that we bless with peace and grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm sorry to say thank you for tonight. Thank for the peace only you can give. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank for the strength only you can give. He said, grace and peace, even love, be multiplied towards you. Father, we key to that scripture tonight. But it all began with Elijah. You told him that it, because you are going to go in the strength of this journey, and the journey is great. The year is still long. The year is still far. Many days are still in this year. Many weeks are still in this year. Several hours are still in this year. And the hours, the second, the minute, we just swallow a lot of people. Some may not even die, but they be frustrated. Some may not even die, but the news, the thing they receive, we frustrate them. But as for me, as for this brethren of mine, we have asked tonight that we will never be frustrated, we will never be discouraged, that in believing, we will believe, in trusting, we will trust, in confessing, we confess you. Because any kind of Bible or team, as men that believe, they cannot be put to shame. And that's where at this moment we receive grace. And things that are meant for our peace, we receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray and I pray for as many here hearing me now. Myself hearing myself. And as many here hearing me at this time, at this moment, I ask for grace. Amen. I ask for peace. Amen. I ask for mercy. Have for the love on the throne of grace itself be multiplied towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you lack strength, where your strength are diminishing, where your strength will reach and it will end and it will not be enough. And you will need divine strength, you need an angel to touch you, say, Arise and go, arise and eat. I beg in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I beg of you that please increase strength for strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
give strength for strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For every day of the year, for every week of the year, for the next six months, strength for strength, Amen. grace for grace, Amen. peace for peace, Amen. love for love, Amen. be multiplied in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the time the year we end, may you look back and say, of a true, I receive grace. I say by the time the year we end, you will look back and you will say, For the truth, I've received peace. Despite what happened this year, I have peace of mind. I'm ending with peace of mind. I've received peace. That will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the love of God that passes from understanding, the peace of God that goes beyond understanding of man, we envelop your heart, envelop your mind, Amen. envelop your spirit, Amen. envelop your soul. And little body, and look your entire household in the mighty name of Jesus. Your wife will see it. Amen. Your children will testify of it. Amen. Your husband will testify of it. Amen. Your neighbor and your workplace will testify of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I command the angel of every angel of God attached to every one of our life that arise and be active. Amen. Arise and be at work Amen. by the name of Jesus Christ Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Lord, once again, I say grace, peace, and strength be multiplied to every house, Amen. every heart, Amen. every life, Amen. every household in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May you never get to a point and say, ah, I can't continue again. May you never get to a point and say, I can't do it again. Strength be abundant for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May you never get to a point and say, let me die. I'm not better than, than, than I've been alive. May that not be your story in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Grace and strength and peace must apply to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The news you will hear that will gladden your heart, God will give you the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say the news you will hear that will bring forth strength for you. Heaven will give you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where you need to understand timing. The Bible says there's time for everything. It means the understanding of time. Where you need to understand timing. I beg God of heaven to open your heart. Amen. Open your mind. Amen. Open your soul. Amen. Open your spirit. Amen. Understand timing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where you need to close your mouth. And where you need to open it. The maturity and the wisdom to know the truth. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where you need to maintain your ground. And say, I'm defending my ground. And we are into offend and say, I'm pushing the battle to the enemy's gate. The difference between the two. May God give you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Where you need to run and run for your dear life like Elijah did. And we are into stay your ground and maintain the ground and win the battle among coming. The difference between the two. May God enlighten your heart to know it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are into answer that man according to his foolishness. And we are into keep quiet when that man is speaking or that woman is speaking. The difference between the two. May God enlighten your mind to know it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Once again, grace, peace, and love in Jesus Christ be multiplied to us at home in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Say amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you for coming. This is the end of the big event for tonight. We still have a long day to pass if you can. Even if it's 12 o'clock, please try it. And it's still grace for the journey ahead in Jesus' name. Even if it's 12 o'clock, please try and fast. And it's still grace for the journey ahead. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we sing a, a song together, a family song? I'm so glad I'm a part of this family. Family of God. Strong as David. Wise Solomon, joint here with Jesus, heaven home and band. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. Please don't forget August 14, that is coming our anniversary, and the responsibility attached to it. The children are going to visit on behalf of our children to thank God for their life and destinies. And the, the fellowship of, of the of the married, or please remember our responsibility, both in prayer and uh, in giving to it. God bless all of our home, and our strength to us in Jesus' name. May God bless you and keep you. May God shine His face towards you, and be gracious to you.
in the remaining part of this year, may God be gracious to you. I say for the rest of this year, may God multiply grace and be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And may his continence be upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. For the rest of this year, may God multiply peace by raising of his face shining upon you, upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And may God put his name upon your children and one by one bless them in Jesus' mighty name. And may the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of our Father, the God of our Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of His Spirit abide in you, abide with you for the rest of this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And may God multiply grace towards you, multiply peace towards you, and love in your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And strength for strength for the rest of this year, every new day, every new week, every new month, for the remaining of this year and even for your entire life. Strength be multiplied towards you, strength for strength in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. And because of the year of grace, what do we say as we close? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. I confess. I swear, I confess. Yes, Lord, I confess. Yes, Lord, I confess. It is well with me. As you believe, as you trust, as you confess, it is well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is over. God bless you. Mo gbagbo yo dara fun mi